ASL Tech Studios here again today, and I am going to do a bit of a ThinkPad surgery, if you will. Now, this ThinkPad T440, if you may or may not know, it shipped with a 1366 by 768 display panel, which is perfectly adequate if you don't really care about seeing things, but for me, especially the fact that it was TN and a poorly calibrated one at that, I thought that maybe it would be a little bit better to have an IPS panel. So, I went on eBay and I was lucky enough to find a Canadian seller that had a very nice Samsung panel in stock. Well, they didn't because they sent me the wrong one first, but now they have sent me the proper Samsung IPS or actually, would you rather call it PLS panel? So we're going to install that right now. First thing you need to do with this particular computer, which I find pretty strange, is this outside sticker needs to be removed. So that's probably what we're going to go ahead and do first. And um, I'm going to do that by using a screwdriver and some old credit cards. Not really credit cards, just cards. But, alright, let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver. I know people are going to get caning on me for doing this this way, but you know it's my way and it works. I'm just going to stop the video for now and then when I have all the cards put in place where I want them, I will show the next step here. Screen sticker thingy is off, which I think I kind of was went a little too fast with it, but I think it will reapply just fine at the after we're done here. Um, we need to take the bezel off, which is a little bit more involved procedure. But, I think after we've done that, we can get to the screen finally. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to use a standard Phillips head screwdriver, pretty small Phillips screws. Take four screws off of here, and then I will um, unsnap the bezel. And we'll get to the screen finally, and then maybe we can install our screen and give it a little test. So I'm just going to do that, and you hang tight here and I'll be back in a flash. Screen up from the panel, up, up, up from the lid like so. Be careful. There is an LCD, there is a thingy holding it together. So, yeah, now time for your new screen, which I'll be getting really shortly. And I'll take this one off. Simply done by using this bugger of a connector here. So we have this latch, like this, and you pull it out. I'm really careful around these kinds of connectors because I don't like them because I've almost ru I ruined one on an iMac once. Thankfully the iMac was bor was broken. Alrighty, so that's done. So now I can put in my new display, which is right here. I'm extremely nervous when I do this because it's a screen and it costs like seventy dollars, which isn't a much, which isn't much, but still I'm being cautious. So we're going to add this here, simply like so. Gonna add that in. Okay, there we go. Going in nice and smooth. Now I just need to push the connector. There we go. And it's latched in place. So, now we get to test our new creation by, first of all, you'll need to actually align these things, which can be fun or tedious depending on how you think of things, but I mean, I hope this one aligned, not quite, it needs to kind of be aligned. Okay, there we go, now it's aligned. So what we're going to do now is we're going to carefully Carefully, I mean really carefully, because it might fall out otherwise. Tip the screen upwards. We're going to plug in the AC adapter here. We're going to turn on our ThinkPad. Now, you want to make sure the screen kind of sits like this. I'm just going to turn it on, and I'm hoping get at least some kind of signal, and we are. As you can see, actually you can't see it because the camera is not adjusted. 
But now, as you can see, we are getting a signal on our display. I'm just having my hand here because it will reveal my full name. And uh, let's give it a second. It'll come up. Okay, that's interesting. I think we're just gonna give it a hard reset here quickly. And, uh, I mean, the person who I watched do this on their machine. Press F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. Say exit to make changes. Just went through the BIOS here. So now it's just going to do a full startup. There's Windows 10. do a full startup and I hope that the uh, display will work much better but it's got only going a little bit slower because it has a couple things to do now I hope okay just wonder what it's doing now I'm sorry for the tape motor noise on the camera. Oh, that looks incredible. I'm sorry, the camera's a little bit old and crud, but uh, my fingers are sweaty. That's perfect, though. I love that resolution. It looks incredible. I'm actually extraordinarily pleased with that. It looks, I mean, you could get up real close to it, and it still looks amazing. You could not hope for such resolution. Oh, oh my god. That looks incredible. It looks a little weird right now, simply because of what's up, but it just looks amazing. Now, for the moment of truth. Even the brightness works, people. Even the brightness works. This is an incredible invention right here, an, inv an incredible invention. The next step is to turn off the computer and reassemble this whole entire assembly we've done. So yeah, I'll just be doing that right now and um, some positive, and there will be definitely some positive, uh, there will definitely be some positive reviews given on Reddit at the moment. Maybe not at the moment, but we'll need to definitely take a look at things, redo some things, and uh, yeah, that, that, that just looks incredible, though. It just looks weird because of the screen resolution, but oh, well, we're going to shut down, and uh, we'll reassemble that from there, then, because that just looks incredible. I'm definitely very eager to see how the rest of it works, but alrighty, I'll get to it. And when it's all reassembled again, I'll turn it on and we'll take another look. Okay, so finally, let's do the final boot up to see if after we've assembled everything, if it still works right. That looks incredible though. It really, really does. Quick startup. Cursor shows up. Have our awesome looking a Windows Spotlight background. I'm just going to cover up this. Oh. Sweaty hands. Let it log me in. And there we go. Now let's check out the viewing angle. It can just go all the way down and no difference. It looks great.
think the, um, I'm going to check out the camera and see how the camera works. The camera is a way to know if the sticker turned out well and, um, yeah, you can see our little camera and all the stuff behind in this room. So, I think we did well. Really well. We excelled, didn't we? So, now, I'm going to go ahead and set this up so that all the icons look normal and have it set back up in the right way. And, um, I think that'll be it for the video. So, to everyone who said, um, the 1080p screen mod doesn't work on the ThinkPad T440 and all that other stuff. And they only say, oh, it only works on the T440S and the T440P, not the T440. Well, what you have to know is the T440P, the, T4, the T440S, and the T440 are basically just slightly different variants of all the same machine, which means that they'll all have basically the same BIOS and at least somewhat the same internals. So what works on one should work on the other. And another thing, people are always like, you need to use the B140 Hans 01.2 screen or something, or the LG whatever screen. Um, you don't. I actually used um, a Samsung LTN 140HL02 screen on this and it works just fine. So whoever actually said that to you was probably wrong. And that's basically what I've looked through all of the internet about, and um, I think it's just about the same. So I'm very impressed with this. Uh, videos coming up will probably be a um, trackpad replacement for this, because I don't like this trackpad. It feels a little bit um, just chintzy and cheap filling. So I found a trackpad on eBay. I'll order that, and uh, after it arrives, we'll definitely be installing it. So uh, I think that's it for the video. This is me, KSL of KSL Tech Studios, signing off.